it does it doesn't seem like it was 10 years ago it's still very emotional penny estes helped save lives at tulane medical center when flood water surrounded the downtown hospital trapping hundreds you know along with being having to deal with being a nurse worrying about your family you're watching this whole city just go under the ER nurse recalls the days following Katrina vividly, having to triage patients in the hospital's parking garage with no power. Start lines with people with flashlights, hanging fluids, doing whatever we could to kind of keep them stable until we can get them out of here. For six days, she and many others cared for the sick and their families until they could be transported to the airport by helicopter. It was a sight to see. Helicopters. Uh, on the ground here, 15 at least in the air. Julie Corette Willos documented her experience through videos and images. To witness one human being keeping another human being alive really moved me and touched me in a very phenomenal way that I never forgot. The eight generation New Orleanian took shelter at the hospital with several of her family members before their time came to go. There was celebration and relief as helicopters lifted people to safety, but as they flew over the city, those feelings turned to heartache and disbelief, seeing entire sections of New Orleans underwater and unrecognizable. The moment we were up in the air and looked out the window, um, it was absolute shock and horror. Before then, Will Oz said they were only hearing of the devastation through an AM radio. Couldn't even begin to process it. You literally just couldn't wrap your brain around what you were looking at. Once they reached the airport, Tulane's parent company, HCA, bust Will Oz and the others to Lafayette. And for the first time in days, they had cell service. Incredible moment to talk to one of my sisters for the first time because you just want to reach to the phone and hug them. You're so scared. On top of the storm, Will Oz lost her beloved grandfather just 12 hours before Katrina made landfall. We were in such survival mode and um, really almost a uh, post-traumatic coping mode. I felt, uh, for me personally, that I wasn't able to truly grieve my grandfather until several months later. Thankful for people like Nurse S. Steves, who worked around the clock to ensure no more lives were lost. Simply to to be alive was a blessing. As a region, we've come together um, even closer and have established even a greater pride for what it really means to be a New Orleanian. Reporting on your side, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News.